Ring Zero here, and welcome back to the Steel Mod Attack run of EV Emerald. Last time, we resolved the game's B plot. Now it's time to attain our final gym badge. But first, say hello to Hellion the Magnemite. And then after the instrumental that leads into Electric Eye, I figured it's appropriate. So this is the sixth and final member of the team for the Hall of Fame. Moose it's very similar to Magneton, but I wanted a full team by the end for, well, reasons. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so to actually complete this, there's floor puzzles here. You want to step on each tile only once to make your way through. And I'm going to deliberately break a few of them, because I actually want to battle the trainers in the basement. And this is where we're going to deliberately break it. Most of my team is actually close to the levels that, well, Waltz's Pokemon are going to be at, so... I won't really need to do any grinding in Victory Road, other than just to get Magnemite on level with everyone else. And that's the first one down. Now, some of you may wonder, how did I manage to level this thing up so quickly? It involved a lot of this! Back to the present, let's move on to the next trainer. Now, of course, the key difference in the move sets right now is, well, obviously Hellion isn't high enough in level to get Metal Sound yet. It will later on. <clears throat> and uh, it has Swift instead of Try Attack. What I may end up doing is going to the abandoned ship and getting the TM for Rain Dance, giving this thing Thunder and then Metal Sound, but I'm definitely going to keep Thunder Wave on this one, because that's just a decent support move for it to have. Especially since I got rid of it on Magneton, so... By the way, um, if you're doing a normal or water monotype in Gen 3, or very monotype from Gen 6 onwards, Azumarill is really fucking good. If you can get one with huge power, well, <laughs> its physical attacks will hit like a truck. Especially if you're gonna, if you're gonna use Rollout with it. Oh yeah, and I th doesn't it learn Belly Drum? I think it might. If so, then it gets even more ridiculous. Nigga, I might be thinking of Liquid Crystal, where in that ROM hack there's a move tutor that can teach a Pokémon Belly Drum. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, because you can give it to Pokémon like, say, Tyranitar or Salamence. 
that would normally never be able to get it. And it just turns them into monsters. Eh, fuck off. Remember what I said about moves like Fake Out, they just exist to waste your time. Zap. This is the toughest gym in the region? I'm not impressed. And this is my weakest Pokémon! You think? Anyway, moving on. Down to the lower level. There's only a couple more trainers left. Yeah, and that's the thing about this particular Magnemite, it has a rash nature, so it's going to take extra damage from special attacks. I could have tried to go shiny hunting again, but I didn't feel like spending the next week or so trying to find one. I found out the only time times I really find shinies are when I'm not trying to. Unless it's a fixed encounter that you can just farm over and over again. Like, say, the Electrode in the Team Aqua Hideout. You can farm those for Shinies. She's not kidding when she says it's rare, by the way. This is the rarest wild Pokémon that isn't one of a kind in Emerald version. Well, good that did you. Now, a couple more. Sublime. Who talks like that? Yeah, you're gonna need more than two dollar words to beat me, babe. Or, honestly, more like two hundred dollar words nowadays with inflation being what it is.
And that's all the gym trainers. I will be right back. Gonna make one quick adjustment to the team and put Skarmori on it. You'll see why later. And we're back! So now we go like this. Like this. And then... Like this, up here, up here, all the way up. Down like this, down like this. Like here, 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 here. Like so. And then all the way across. And that's how you do it. Alright, this is it. Last gym battle. Yeah, I'm sure I will. You would. You fucking would. Off to a great start, I see! Don't you dare. Yeah, I don't think so. And stay down! Also, real talk... Love Disc should have been able to evolve into Alamomola when it was added in Gen 5. The only reason it can't is because the Gen 5 Pode Pokedex is basically a reset. What a wasted opportunity. That might have actually made Love Disc worth training. But no. HA! Sucks to be you. Oh, fuck off. Skarmory, you have one job. Take this son of a bitch out. Okay, you know what? Fine. That's how you're gonna be. I can do that too. Let's go for another one. Okay, now that can make things a little more complicated. It's not always that going to boost water-type attacks, but I think one is a lantern, and that thing is going to spam thun- Oh, fuck off, Skarmory! Really? You're killing me, dude! You know what? Fine. Fine. I'm not even mad. Because guess what I'm going to do? Fuck you. Screw the rules, I have money. Okay, I kind of deserve that for being a smart ass. Okay, that does it! Fuck off! Thank you! That was an ice type. Hmm. Oh, yeah, water type cancels out the weakness. Ah, well.
That's more like it. Kingdra. And down you go. That's more like it, Skarmory. You've redeemed yourself. Congratulations. <sighs> this guy's such a smart ass. We get the rain dance, we get the TM for water pulse, and we get the ability to use waterfall outside of battle. And we register his phone number. Anyways, I think that wraps it up for this episode. Next time, we're not going right to the Elite Four. There's a couple more things we're going to do before we do that. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.